Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Evie with A Path to Balance. And today I'm going to be making some sea cheese. I am having some people over tomorrow and I want to make lasagna. And I want to use a dairy-free cheese, but I don't want to use anything that I buy in the store. So I'm going to make my own cheese using sesame seeds. So here's how I do it. And maybe you can become inspired and do it yourself at home too. Now, anyway, I've already prepped two cups of sesame seeds. And all I did was measure and rinse them. And then I put them in my Vitamix. Now, you can add things like garlic or salt or something like that. Um, but today I'm just gonna use plain old sesame seeds. And then I'm going to take Rejuvalac. Now, if you don't know how to make Rejuvalac, please see a previous video of mine where I show you how to make Rejuvalac with quinoa. There are many, you can make Rejuvalac with wheat, rye, uh, millet, but quinoa sprouts really quickly. So it's one of the easiest grains to use in order to make a Rejuvalac. And basically this is a fermented quinoa water, basically. And so this is what's going to provide the probiotic I need to turn my sesame seeds uh, into cheese or my sesame seed pulp into cheese. So all I'm going to do is take my Rejuvalac and just add just a big heaping couple, I don't know, heaping whatever, a lot. We're gonna add a lot. And then I'm going to blend it. Now, after I blend it, I'm going to strain it and I'm going to use a seed bag in order to do that. And then, so I need a pitcher so that I can hang the seed bag up. Now, you need some clips as well, so go ahead and clip your seed bag to the side, and then voila, it's ready. So just bear with me whilst I find the lid to my pitcher. Ah, wasn't far away, thank goodness. And then we're going to blend. So it's going to get noisy for a few seconds, sorry. Okay, I think that's enough. A good 30 second blend <clears throat> on high, of course. And then we're going to pull into our seed bag. <sighs> Such creamy goodness. Now we're gonna let it strain for, I don't know, the next seven hours at room temperature. So you wanna make your cheese the day before. If you don't really care, about the, well, the day before you need it, if you don't really care whether or not your cheese pulp or your, the pulp of your whatever nuts or seeds you're using is actually fermented, then you can of course do it on day of. And strain for strain by just squeezing all of the liquid out. So I could actually squeeze it myself and get all the liquid out. And then I would be, it would be ready for me to use as cheese for my lasagna. Anyway, um, you can substitute any seed you want. You can make pumpkin seed cheese. You can make walnut cheese. You could make a cashew cheese. You could make, you see what I'm saying? Like the list goes on. You just have to experiment a little bit. Once you have the probiotic, right? Then the combinations are endless. All right, well, good luck to you. And anyway, I'm going to let mine strain on the countertop for seven hours. Then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator until tomorrow morning, and then it should be ready. All right, good luck and yeah, have a good day, bye.